Despite globalization, advances in technology, and advances in travel, it is shocking to know that there are still places in the world that are off limits right now. These places remain largely unexplored by humans and are home to dangerous reptiles or have simply been forgotten. Today, we're going to show you the top 10 places that no one would allow you to visit. Number 10. Area 51 Southern Nevada's Area 51 is always shrouded in conspiracy theories. It is a U.S. military base with a reputation for being a weapons and aircraft testing ground. However, there is a widespread speculation about the same. According to conspiracy theorists, the official conceal alien evidence at the base. It is completely off limits to the general public and even the United States barely acknowledges the existence of Area 51. It is one of the many not-so-secrets that has long been shrouded in mystery. Because entry to the area is prohibited, it has given rise to numerous tales of disguise and conspiracy that have piqued the interest of people all over the world. Despite the lack of fences to keep human intruders out, the Air Force will not hesitate to use lethal force to protect its facility. Number 9. Pravchika Brana Czech Republic Pravchika Brana is not only one of Czech Republic's most famous attractions, but it also has Europe's largest natural sandstone arch. It was open to visitors until 1982, but it's now closed to outsiders. According to reports, the ban was put in place to prevent erosion of this beautiful landmark. Unfortunately, the ban had no effect and the erosion process is still going on. Number 8. Ise Grand Shrine, Japan Japan is well known for its shrine culture. With approximately 80,000 shrines, the Ise Grand Shrine is the most important of all because of its architectural splendor. It's one of Japan's most expensive temples. This temple is rebuilt every 20 years to maintain Shinto traditions dating back to the 8th century, and it costs a million dollars to do so. You're not permitted to enter the hallow halls of this ancient Japanese representation unless you are a member of the royal family. Number 7. Metro to Moscow much like USA's Area 51, there's a lot of speculation surrounding Moscow's Metro 2. An underground metro system connects the Kremlin to the federal security headquarters. It's often used by Russian military defense. But ask the government about Metro 2 and they deny its existence. Only those with top secret special clearance could enter the Metro 2 system, as one might expect. That essentially meant the upper crust. Furthermore, these conditions appear to be in effect today, at least unofficially. Many researchers have applied for permission to enter the alleged tunnels for a variety of reasons. Almost all have been turned down. Perhaps that should be sufficient evidence. For example, why would a request to see a non-existent network of tunnels be denied? Given the many rumors of the secret of Metro 2 network, it is easy to see why researchers would make the connection. If the claims are true, what activity might be taking place under the city of Moscow today? Number 6. North Sentinel Island, India North Sentinel Island in the Andaman chain is one of the world's forbidden islands, home of the Sentinelese tribe, and to protect their isolation, the island's inhabitants frequently resort to violence. The Sentinelese have lived on the island for over 50,000 years under the protection of the Indian government. This region is strictly forbidden to all visitors and is one of the most dangerous and forbidden places on the planet. North Sentinel's native Sentinelese population has remained largely uncontacted for at least the past 50,000 years due to its remote location, far from major shipping lanes and surrounded by a shallow reef with no natural harbors. They attribute this in part to the intense protection of their home and privacy, and in part to the Indian government's protective legislation. South Asians and residents of other Andaman Sea islands avoid North Sentinel Island and its waters because the Sentinelese will not accept any attempts at contact. At number 5, we have the Nihau Island, USA. Nihau Island, home to 160 people, prohibits outsiders from entering. This location is only accessible if you have a relative on the island or are a member of the US Navy. According to reports, the government has also restricted outsiders' access to Nihau Island in order to protect the environment and wildlife, so despite its beauty, it remains out of reach for outsiders. The island was originally purchased for $10,000 and it has been privately owned for more than 150 years. Nihau is commonly referred to as Hawaii's Forbidden Island. The invite-only destination tantalizes travelers from across the globe due to its extreme exclusivity. 
One of the most intriguing aspects of the Forbidden Island is the story of its acquisition. According to legend, Elizabeth Sinclair purchased the 70 square mile island from King Kamehameha V in 1864 for $10,000 in gold. Though this amount of money can't even buy a small home in today's economy, it was quite a large sum at the time. And the king's only request was that the Sinclairs protect the island and its inhabitants from outside influences, a promise that still rings true today. Number 4. Fort Knox, USA This location houses the majority of the US gold reserves and is often referred to as the world's most heavily guarded location. It should be noted that none of the staff members have access to the vault, and in order to gain access, several combinations must be known, whereas each staff member knows only one of them. Furthermore, the structure is made of concrete-lined granite and reinforced with steel to withstand any outside attack. Number 3. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China Although the tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, was discovered after the Terracotta Army was discovered in 1974, it is yet to be excavated. Even though it is one of the world's greatest discoveries, it remains shrouded in mystery, both through historians and archaeologists. According to reports, the tomb's contents are still sealed and unexplored. As the tomb of the first emperor who unified the country, it is the largest in Chinese history, with a unique standard and layout, and a large number of exquisite funeral objects. It testifies to the founding of the first unified empire of the Qin Dynasty, which during the 3rd BCE wielded unprecedented political, military, and economic power, and advanced the social, cultural, and artistic level of the empire. Next, we have Surtsey Island, Iceland. Surtsey is famous for being one of the world's youngest islands, having formed following a volcanic eruption that lasted from 1963 to 1967. Only scientists conducting research on the ecosystem of this location are permitted to visit. The Forbidden Island is off-limits for tourists as it is believed that human interference will disrupt the ecological succession taking place on the island. Finally, at number one, we have the Ilha de Queimada Grande, or Snake Island, in Brazil. As the name suggests, the island is forbidden to visit in Brazil because it is infested with thousands of deadly snakes. One can imagine the danger level of visiting this location, as the Brazilian government has made it illegal for people to visit it. According to records, Snake Island in Brazil is home to approximately 4,000 golden lanceheads, which are considered the deadliest serpents on the planet. The golden lancehead snake is one of the most venomous snakes in South America. The mortality rate for people to get anti-venom is believed to be up to 3%. That number greatly increases if you do not get any treatment up to 7% mortality rate. Even if the individual does not die, they will suffer severe damage to their body. The venom of a golden lancehead is hemotoxic, and that means it attacks red blood cells and can cause all sorts of different physical problems. If a golden lancehead bites you, you will suffer from pain, internal beating, necrosis of muscle tissue, possible hemorrhages in the brain, and other symptoms. However, due to Brazilian government keeping people from visiting the island, no deaths from bites exist in modern records. The snake is not among the most venomous snakes in the world by any measure, but it's deadly enough to kill humans with ease. If a person were to sneak on the island and get bitten, the chances are they'd be facing severe health difficulties. After all, they're about 90 miles from the nearest vial of anti-venom.